everyone! So today I'm out here in the North Cascades and I'm looking for a composition right now. I didn't film too much, I'm actually here with a friend of mine, so we were just catching up on the way up. And uh, this is where we are. We came from that valley, we hiked from over there, up uh, through the valley, and then over here and up this ridge and our camp is at the top and the conditions the conditions look great i mean there are nice high clouds everywhere even some lenticular clouds and the sun is over there right now uh it's gonna be below the clouds soon and I think we're gonna get some really nice light on all of these peaks. So right now I'm trying to find a composition and my plan, my plan originally was to have myself stand right there, have this act as a leading line, person there, and you have some lines here pointing to the person like that, and then this line continues to lead you into that mountain. Now the problem with that mountain is it's smaller than that mountain. Uh, yeah, I've spent much of time looking around on Google Earth and found this spot and it on Google Earth that looked more prominent. However, unfortunately that one looks bigger. So I think what I will do is try a vertical composition with this acting as a leading line um, put myself right there and uh, and have that mountain be the, the other subject so we'll see we'll see how that goes uh, I'm gonna try to compose the shot now and then I will run down there and myself there so that's that's gonna be fun because <laughs> that's actually that's further away than it looks <laughs> okay so I think I've got an image composed and here's what here's what we've got so we have um, I guess I'll show you on the screen here uh, we have the snow acting as kind of a leading line so it's just over here it kind of leads you towards the peak and we'll have the person there facing the peak and there is also just just over here we have this acting as some foreground so we'll see we'll see if it works um, to be honest I was I was really hoping to, to shoot a pano um, there's if I will if I was able to have the person there in this nice leading line into the mountain and have that be two vertical shots that would have been really nice and the other thing I had in mind the other thing I had in mind was the valley over there the, where the Sun is gonna set uh, right where the valley leads to have that be a pano into that uh, so kind of relationship between the Sun and the, that mountain but again that mountain is less prominent than that one so that's a problem and the other issue is this just wall of mountains and usually if you have a, kind of a wall going uh, horizontally across the composition it uh, kind of kills the the space if that makes sense I mean ideally I would want uh, to be positioned in a way such that you're looking into the valley not kind of uh, <laughs> horizontally over the valley if that makes sense so yeah uh, that's what we've got I think I'm gonna go ahead and run down there and uh, put this on intervalometer and take a few selfies Right, so I'm running, <laughs> running down to the spot. Camera is up there, 
and I have my stopwatch going. So, yeah, this is uh, mountain selfies in action. I think this is pretty good. I think this is the spot I wanted. All right, the camera is up there and stopwatch. It's actually, okay, I didn't need to run. It's, I don't know if you can see it. Stopwatch is at one minute, 20 seconds. And uh, I set it for three minutes. So I could have just walked. But okay, I'll hang out here and enjoy the view until it is time. Okay, done posing. <laughs> And uh, yeah, hopefully I will have a good shot of the person. And now we just have to wait for, for the light. Because, and it's actually getting good. It's still pretty harsh. It's, it's, the sun gets lower, it's gonna get better and better. So what I, what I want is to see if I can just use that shot of the person, but adjust everything else as needed. Of course, if the color of the snow changes significantly, I'll have to redo, redo the shot of the person, which means running down once again. Well, things did not quite go as planned. The peak that I was shooting over there, that one didn't really catch any light. The sun kind of settled under those clouds and that was really it. So we had to improvise a bit. Uh, my friend is shooting some compositions now of this beautiful, range. So this is absolutely incredible. There are some nice clouds over there and I actually ended up shooting a pano of those peaks. And uh, yeah, this is a good spot to set up camp. I think that is it for tonight. The light has mostly faded. I thought it might still uh, hit the peak that I was uh, that I was trying to compose, but yeah, I don't think it's happening. So I think I will pack it in for tonight and try again in the morning. morning everyone so here is what I woke up to I really don't know what to expect the Sun is going to be rising from over there and the composition that I was shooting before 
uh, included a peak that's up there and uh, yeah so I hiked down to that point over there behind the um, uh, I don't know what it's called it is still early I have not had coffee it's about 4.40 a.m. right now so yeah my brain is not yet functioning but I think that uh, yeah I think I'll have to improvise a little bit once again and just see what I can find because uh, yeah I'm not sure if the composition that I originally had in mind is going to happen but it's really hard to tell with the clouds coming in and out so we will see what happens Thank you. 